we present a method for producing articulated figure animation from hand-drawn stick figures. Using our interface, artists can quickly convert their sketches into three-dimensional animations. A creative artist begins by drawing stick figures in a sequence of key poses that defines the desired animation. Drawing can occur at a traditional light box as shown here or directly on a digital canvas. After scanning the drawings, the location of joints and bones can either be indicated manually or extracted automatically using a sequence of image processing operations that locate dots and lines in the image. The extracted features must be annotated in order to uniquely identify each joint. This annotation can be automatically derived from the drawing by matching graph connectivity to a user-supplied template skeleton. The annotated drawing and a user-defined 3D skeletal template can be used to reconstruct three-dimensional pose. Unfortunately, the reconstruction is ambiguous. In this example, over 2,000 different poses match the original drawing. Some of these poses do not represent valid configurations. These invalid poses can be culled using joint angle constraints. Nevertheless, as many as 100 ambiguous poses often remain. Our interface ranks the remaining poses and presents the most likely one to the user. Alternate poses, which represent simple permutations of bone orientation, are presented as options. By indicating the desired orientation for particular ambiguous bones, the user further prunes the space of possibilities. We find that an average of fewer than two user specifications per keyframe are required in order to obtain the desired configuration. After the user indicates the intended pose for each keyframe, the model can be exported to conventional animation tools for interpolation and further refinement. From the viewpoint of the original drawn keyframes, the 3D animation is always of high quality. However, as the viewpoint moves away from the original position, imprecision inherent in the hand drawings reveals itself as unnatural sliding and temporal wobble. By incorporating a stage of pose optimization into the reconstruction, the animated figure can be refined to produce a more pleasing natural motion. Note in this case how the feet stay fixed on the floor and the body no longer swings from side to side. The animation system we have presented can be used to easily produce a wide variety of motions. Here we see a boxer taking a swing. Note that since the feet were drawn as stationary on the image plane, they are forced to remain stationary along the reconstructed axis as well. Imprecision in the drawn keyframes of a golfer result in reconstructed hand positions that do not stay together. However, the hands were illustrated as coincident, so the optimizer forces them to remain adjacent along the reconstructed axis. Even users with no ability to sketch can use our system. This shot putter was created by a novice artist who rotoscoped stock video footage. Keyframes that are intentionally drawn with squash and stretch violate the assumption of constant skeletal bone length. These cases can be handled by relaxing the optimizer's requirement to maintain bone lengths. A squashiness slider allows the user to control this aspect of the optimization. This work presents a method for easily producing 3D animations from hand-drawn keyframes. The interface is designed to automate the process while simultaneously allowing the user to control the system at all stages. Although the individual algorithms that make this possible are interesting, the primary contribution of this work is that it allows an animator to create rough 3D animation almost entirely from 2D sketches with little additional effort.